Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. Today, we're learning about how to round decimals. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here to talk about rounding. Round 18.379 to the nearest, and we're given the hundredth, the tenth, and whole number. So let's start with the hundredth. Well, we want to look at the, well, hundredths place, 18.379, and what we're looking at here is that seven. The seven here, we look to what's to the right of the seven. Is that number a five or larger? And it is, it's a nine. So since it's larger than, for five and larger, that nine causes this seven to round up by one. So this, 18.379 would change to be 18.38. And that's how I rounded this number, 18.379, to the nearest hundredth. Now what about tenth? Well, same thing here, we have 18.379. Let's look at the tenth right here. That's the three. So we look at the three and we follow the same process. To the right of the three, we see a seven. 7 is in a category of 5 through 9, 5 and up, and so that causes this 3 to round up. And so we rewrite this number as 18 point, but instead of the 3, we have a 4 going up by 1. Now lastly, we have the whole number. We take again that 18.379, but the whole number digit we're looking at is the 8. We start with the 8, and again we look to the right. 3 is between 0 and 4, including 4, right? Because 5 and up, we round it up. 0 to 4, we round down. Or below 5, round down. 5 and up, round up. So what we do then is we take this 18, and we're rounding down, basically making everything else the zeros, and we keep the 8 as it is. So we just have a 1, 8 right there. Hopefully this video was informative for you on how to round decimals, and we talked about hundredth, tenth, and whole number here. If it was informative, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.